Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Tennisshare. If you're trying to erase all content and settings on your iPhone, but it's just not working or it gets stuck every time when you go to the reset page, no worries. Many people reported this issue, and here I'm going to walk you through some of the reasons why it happens and how to fix it. I've got you covered. Let's get started. So, why won't your iPhone erase all content and settings? There are several possible reasons. Sometimes, if your iPhone is completely unresponsive, it won't be able to erase itself properly. Insufficient storage can also cause issues, as your device might struggle to complete the erase function. Additionally, a weak or unstable Wi-Fi connection can interfere, especially if your iPhone needs to connect to Apple servers. There could also be a glitch or bug in the iOS system preventing the erase function from working properly. Lastly, entering incorrect passcodes too many times can lock your iPhone, stopping the erase process. If your iPhone is completely frozen, the first thing you should try is a force restart. Here is how you do it. For iPhone 8 or later, press and release the volume up button. Press and release the volume down button. Press and hold the power button until the Apple logo reappears. Let's try. Volume up, down. Hold the power button. Release the button when you see the Apple logo. And your phone may be back to normal. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold both the volume down button and hold the power button until you see the Apple logo. For iPhone 6S or earlier, press and hold both the power button and the home button until you see the Apple logo. This should help if your iPhone is stuck or unresponsive. If your iPhone is struggling to connect to a weak or unstable Wi-Fi network, it might not be able to erase itself because it need to verify your Apple ID. Try switching to a stronger Wi-Fi network or using your SIM card's data connection instead. This might solve the issue if your Wi-Fi was the problem. Another common cause for the erasing issue is that Find My or Screen Time is still enabled. If these features are active, they can interfere with the erase process. Here's what you need to do. First, go to Settings and then tap Screen Time. And click Change Screen Time Passcode to turn off the passcode. You might need to use the device's security questions to turn it off. Then back to Settings to tap your ID profile and locate Find My. Then turn it off. You'll need to enter your Apple ID password to disable this feature. Then you make good to go. If you can't disable these settings due to freezing, forgotten passcodes, or other system error, or due to a broken screen or button, don't worry. I've got another method for you. Method 4. Use Re-I Boot to factory reset your phone. If you've tried everything but still can't work, it's time to bring out your computer to download a helpful software. Here I will use Re-I Boot to show you. Re-I Boot is a powerful tool that can help you repair and reset your iPhone, even if it's completely stuck or if you can't disable screen time. I will put the link below for you guys. Okay, after you download Re-I Boot on your computer, you need to connect your phone to it. Re-iBoot have factory reset option here. But if your phone have some system issue, I recommend you to do a deep repair. You can click the green start button, then choose deep repair. The stand repair feature can fix your phone issues without data loss. You can try it the next time if you need it. But now, let's start the deep repair. You will need to download the matching firmware to let it repair your phone error free. When the download is done, you can start the deep repair now. Deep repair will perform a complete reset, restoring your device to its factory settings. This can also update your iPhone to the most stable version of iOS. When the process is done, your phone will be back to factory setting. Without any system problem, you can feel free to sell or give it away now. 
You can also use iTunes to restore your iPhone. Method 5. Use iTunes to factory reset your phone. You can also use iTunes to restore your iPhone, but iTunes may often not detect your phone. You'll need to put your iPhone in recovery mode first. The process is similar to a forced restart, but you need to hold the side button longer until the recovery screen comes out. Then you can choose Restore to Factory, Reset your phone. It will download the matching firmware, then start the restore. You can just wait through the process, we'll be okay. It might take longer due to the iTunes service problem. If iTunes prompts you with an error during the download or restore process, don't disconnect your phone easily or try to restore it again. Your phone might get stuck in recovery mode or a boot loop. You can exit recovery mode with Rei Boot in one click, then perform a deep repair instead. Okay, these methods should help you erase all content and settings on your iPhone, even if you're facing issues. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more helpful tips and guides. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.